welcome to the Self Project Podcast. I'm your host, Christy Martin. I'm a transformation and human design guide who is passionate about guiding women to be the most authentic versions of themselves. This podcast is all about self-discovery, self-empowerment, wellness, healing, parenting, mental health, spirituality, you name it, we're going to talk about it. This podcast and this space is all about helping you along on your own self-project journey. So welcome. Let's sit back and we'll dive right in today. Welcome back to the show, and I am really excited to be able to have on today Lois Hollis. Lois is a shame-guilt educator, a counselor, a filmmaker, and she is going to be sharing with us today just some more information and some more goodness around the shame-guilt prison and how we can work to help release ourselves from that. So Lois, I'm really grateful that you are here today, that you gave your time to be on Um, I would just love if you didn't mind giving more of an introduction to yourself. Um, Just tell us more about yourself, a little bit more of your background, a little bit more um, of your, your story around shame and guilt and why this is important to you. I am 77 years old. So therefore I'm going to make a synopsis (laughs) and it's very important that I am because they told me I was going to die at 55. And they were not telling me anything that wasn't true because I had severe um, coliosis. I couldn't breathe. I had mental um, brain traumas, broken jaws, um, kidney dysfunction because I had 30 years of migraine headaches. And let's see what else. Uh, heart, liver, kidney, brain. So I think that covers it. And they were correct. And I um, was very successful. I I have been very successful in my career, even though I had all these abusive incidences in my childhood, which is very interesting. But anyway, we as women keep going. That's what we do. Because we, we have three babies to raise and we keep it going. So that's my story. And I lost three babies beforehand. So having three babies and three beautiful children was quite a blessing from God. Okay, so I started the first kidney hemodialysis unit in the country in the 1966. I started hepatitis protocol in that. I gave many lectures and started the organization of nurses and technicians, dialysis technicians and nurses in the country. So I was always a starter of things. Uh, that's my MO. I worked in open heart surgery and infancy at the University of Maryland and set protocols for that as well. So even though I had all these injuries, which didn't really culminate till I was 50, I still was able to keep going. Moms keep going. That's what we do. But they do fall down eventually. (laughs) So I was very, very fortunate to find um, a chiropractor healer who's kind of like even a shaman was able to help readjust my body and make me straight again, fix the brain traumas and all the abusive uh, C1, 2 and 3 were broken. I had a near death experience. Uh, You don't live through that, but I did. Uh, Anyway, so in my healing, what do you have to do? You have to do emotional healing. That's that's the bottom line. And through my interventions and thinking, I came to learn that shame and guilt were the cause of everything. And I was like so excited, Christy, because I didn't have to go to therapy for depression for 10 years and anxiety, depression and, you know, um, OCD for five years. I was like be dead before I'd get well. So. I I learned this and I was counseling people. And the more I counseled, the more God gave me information to the point that I was like, and this is like 15 years ago, I was like, oh my God. 
nobody is pulling shame guilt out of the equation and say, this is the problem. It has many other problems, but shame guilt is the problem. Depression, anxiety is not the problem. To shame guilt energy is the problem. And I went, oh my God, it helped me heal. And then people came to me because I healed, got younger, got healthier, and they want to do what I was doing. And that's how it all started. They came to me and they said, I want to do what you're doing. I said, I'm only talking to myself and releasing shame guilt. And they go, I want to do it. I said, okay. And that's how it started in Sedona. And it came, I mean, it wasn't like in 19, when I was 20 years old, I wanted to be a shame guilt educator. Well, anyway, I was making great, great inroads and people wanted me to speak. But in 20 years ago, they said, you can talk about joy and happiness and love and success, but not shame guilt because that doesn't exist. And they said, if you change your title, you'll get much more response. And I said, why? Keep it a secret. Know thy enemy. How are you going to defeat your enemy if you don't know it? Anyway, the pandemic came. People were isolated. They realized they have shame, guilt, and so I'm on podcast. That's the basic truth. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You have such a story here, Lois. So much, so much to unpack. We're going to unpack as much of it as we can. So you have. Okay. I know. You have background as an RN, though, as an RN, right? I'm a, since uh, I was 12 years old, I've been in the medical field. That's a long time. Um, and I uh, became a filmmaker in the, in my, when I was 60 because I can see different things and people couldn't understand what I was talking about. So I said, I got to make a film. So uh, I have another film coming out in about a month. I'm making shame guilt visible. What are the names of your films? Like, I'm good. And I'll send you, it's going to be free on the internet and I'll send it to you. Okay. So why do I say we can get rid of shame, guilt? Ever since Adam and Eve, we've been struggling, right? And we've been struggling, not because we're ignorant, not because we're stupid, because nobody told us the truth. The truth is shame, guilt is an energy. I'm not saying shame and guilt. Shame's in the unconscious mind. Guilt's in the conscious mind. And it kind of makes sense. You know, during the day, we're like guilty, guilty. At night, we're kind of shameful. Or if we get, you know, wake up in the morning, get shame because we've been doing shame all night from the inner critic. That's a powerful distinction. I was trying to think of like, I, I see shame as almost like a feeling like in the body, like you said, like an unconscious aspect and guilt is like the, the crap, the words that are running through my mind. The Yeah, that's true. Exactly. Now this really, if, if only we can get one or two things across, it makes a huge difference in your life. They say shame is bad. Guilt is good. We need more shame so people can be moral and there's no healthy poison if it's the same energy. Now, since I've been nurse forever, I'm t telling you how the medical field works. Okay, if I have, if someone has a bacteria in their brain, they call it meningitis. If they have a same bacteria in their lungs, they call it pneumonia. Same bacteria in their liver, they call it hepatitis. The same bacteria in your stomach, they call it gastritis. The same bacteria in your joints, they call it bursitis. Do you see where I'm going with this? So that's why we're confused. Shame, guilt is the same energy. They give it different names because in different places. And that makes a mess of our head of something that's already confusing. Yeah, I like that analogy that you gave because that really helps. Because like you said, it's... That helps. It's the same thing, like like with the bacteria, it's the same bacteria. So in this, it's the same energy. It's just we're calling it something different because we're perceiving it as something else. In a different location. Now, on the sideline, therapies can, any therapy, physical, mental, emotional therapies can, can, can uh, isolate and bill for these different proceedings things. It's kind of like 
I'm not saying there it's all bad. I'm just saying that's one of the ways that our, our organization, our culture has evolved. But it's not helping us to understand Shane Gill. Okay, that's all. Now, one thing, that's number one. Number two, if we can get this, we become a different person. Okay, we have love energy coming to us. We all know what that feels like. And love energy has what, you know, 100 different emotions. It has compassion and joy and happiness, intuition. We have our, our self-esteem. We can do anything. We never doubt ourselves. We have confidence. That's the love energy. And it sources so many positive emotions. And we all know how that feels. However, we have shame, guilt, negative energy on the other side. Now, shame, guilt, energy comes into us and it turns our positive emotions into negative ones. Compassion turns to depression. Intuition turns to anxiety. Passion turns to anger. So we are wonderful beings. It's just that the energy of shame, guilt, twists them to the negative side. Now, what happens when your computer, now that we talked about the tech monster, when the tech monster negative energy comes into our computer, what happens? The virus thingy. Your computer goes haywire. <laughs> It's, it's, it's terrible, you know, like some things work and some things don't work. And you can't really isolate it because Microsoft is now under Chrome and Chrome's under Firefly. You know, it's like, you can't, you know, you can't even, you can't even um, diagnose it because it's so confusing. How do you fix it? Virus removal program. Okay, now you and I and all of humanity are crystalline energy structures. We all know that we have energy medicine and ley, um, not ley lines, but um, meridians. You know, ley lines of the earth. We're meridians in there. So, shame, guilt, energy, negative, comes into us and does the same thing that it does to a computer. Nobody ever explained it like this before. And so we can begin to see all of not physical, mental all of these different kind of maladies from it. Yeah, because their mental mind goes into confusion. Confusion is shame, guilt. Our, our uh, emotions turn. Now, everybody's different. And that's why it's even more confusing. Everybody, it depends on your weak link. Like if you have a weak gallbladder, your gallbladder is going to be affected. And everybody's gallbladder is not affected. So it just depends on your weakest link. If, you know, um, the compassion part of you is weak. So that one's going to be affected more than your passion one. It just depends. Like the computer. Now, the beauty of that is since it's external, we don't need it. It needs us. It's a long story. But we don't need shame, your energy. Energy was put upon humanity. Okay? We don't need it. So therefore, we can get rid of it. So what are some other ways that you get people to getting rid of it? And just one or two ways to share with us. Okay, so the first thing is to know what shame, guilt behaviors are. We've been so conditioned to shame, guilt ourselves and other people that we don't even know what it is. It's true. So on my um, website, I have 500 questions, one answer. So I have 500 behaviors that we can identify shame, guilt behavior. And you'll go, oh my God, oh my God, that's right, that's right. I mean, the truth is so powerful. So that's step number one, is to know, know thy enemy. And that's why we've been so taken down by shame, guilt, because we have not been allowed to understand it. Energy only has one defect. It dissolves in detection. Remember the Wizard of Oz and Dorothy as she approaches the wizard and she pulls the curtain back and she says, 
It's not a big, hairy, awesome wizard. It's just a little old gray man with a horn and this and all these things. That's what shame, guilt, energy is. So that's what we're doing today. We're pulling the curtain back and say, hey, it's a destructive energy that we were never allowed to understand and thinking that we were so, so bad, so ineffective. But we didn't know. That's why I became who I am, because it's like, hello, we got to get this out and help people understand that they are true humans, wonderful beings, insulted by shame, guilt, energy. So if you know your enemy, you can overtake it. We only have one enemy. It's not our mother. It's not our father. It's not our grandmother. It's not the government. It's not their school. It's not the priest. It's not the bishop. It's not the pope. It's shame, guilt, energy. Shame, guilt, energy. It's driving everybody. (laughs) Exactly. Okay. We're starting ground zero here. You know, it's like we're beginning to understand it and learn how to get rid of it. And I'll go into that. But The way you defeat your enemy is to know about it. That's why I don't particularly like the phrase, oh, just be vulnerable and you'll be better off. Well, vulnerability is good. But if you don't know about shame, guilt, energy, you're stupid. I mean, seriously, I I hate to use that, but it's, you know, it's really true. I would never go into battle without armor on. And our armor is our intelligence, our information, our knowledge. And I'm teaching people what shame, guilt behavior is. So when you recognize, you go, no, not here. And also to ourselves, our inner critic is really our friend. And then, and we be, my inner critic is my partner. But he's been taught the same way we've been taught. It's not his fault. We can't shut him up. He's part of us. So I'm teaching you. To teach your inner critic. It's a lot to take in. It is. I know. I'm like, there's so much. I was already thinking to myself earlier. I'm like, I'm going to have to come back. This is going to be one of those episodes that, you know, we're going to need to re-listen to because there's so much to unpack there. And also, also your mind is like, good. Yeah. (laughs) I'm like, but it's a good, in a good way. It's like, we're going down highway one and you're supposed to go down highway 17. Oh, oh, nobody ever told me that. Yes. Well, and and that's the really powerful thing is um, I actually heard this uh, as listening to a podcast earlier today and they shared this term that basically your brain can't think new thoughts without an introduction from an external source. So in this case, you know, you're introducing these new thoughts, this new, um, you know, way of truth, the truth. So you're introducing this new thing that we had no idea about and so now we get to explore this because it's now in our so I guess you could call this mind mapping or whatever you want to call it it's just the truth and truth is very powerful and you will find that when you start understanding truth you heal so quickly it's like boing 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 we're very smart people Christy we're very smart But we've been dumbed down because of the shame, guilt, energy. We always been taught to think lesser than, and as we have to be humble, we have to apologize. We have to, we have to, we have to, instead of being all that we can be with love. I mean, nothing trumps anything but love. We talked about kind of being aware of it. Identifying these, these behaviors is kind of the first part of it how do you begin really shifting and losing those feelings? Because I think of that feeling of shame. Okay, now that's an excellent point. I'm, you know, a person's feeling shame and guilt. And you're like, okay, that's the shame, guilt, energy. That's the green monster, whatever it is. (laughs) Put it over there. We don't talk to shame, guilt because it's, we don't give it any energy. It's taking our energy. Okay. That's what shame, guilt, energy does. It takes our energy. Do you ever feel like, oh, well, duh, it took your energy away. So we're like, put it on the side. Is that going to get rid of it? No, but at least you're beginning to get rid of it. That's why I said we got to start from ground zero. That's okay. At least we're going the right direction. And then you can take a piece of paper and pencil and say, well, it depends. You might be feeling I'm not good enough. 
or depression. You would say, hi, depression. Thank you so much for coming to talk to me. Hi, um, I don't feel good. Thank you for coming. We talk to our emotions and there's many, many ways of doing that. And I have a, um, a video on that of talking to yourself, talking to your emotions. It's out of discord into harmony. I did that about six years ago. And I had kids actors as different emotions and you know, people would really enjoy that. So it's really a fun thing to do. So what we're doing is separating shame guilt from our emotions. Are, is it gonna work the first time? Yeah, but you gotta keep doing it. And then down the road, when the emotions start getting a, um, how, how you can say it, uh, a relationship with you, we find that their inner parts hold, you know, the child of us at two, the child of us at five, or the inner, they're the ones that hold the shame guilt energy when we were insulted and we did not know any better. That was culture taught us. So then they get rid of it and that's how we get rid of the shame guilt energy. But it's so hopeful to know that it's just a piece of black glob energy and we can take it out of ourselves, like move it on, move it on. We don't accept it. Then in a few months, you get really, really smart and somebody sends you this shame guilt thing. You go, ah, no, thank you, bye. So you know before you can take it. And also when you feel like, oh, I'm no good, I'm not, okay, we ain't doing that one. Can we talk about something else? Oh, we can talk about depression, that's okay. But we don't talk about the shame guilt crap. So you're, so, it, if we can just do that today, it's a big, big step because we're like, I'm in control. When you have shame, guilt, you don't feel like you're in control. That's huge, Christy. It is. I'm thinking of my own personal thing that I'm going through right now. So from my shame and guilt that I'm kind of dealing with. No, 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 no. Never say my, never own it. The the shame and guilt. See already. Yay, yay, the Christy. shame and guilt that I'm dealing with um, stems from a period uh, where I went through alcoholism. And so some of the behaviors that I had, some of the choices that I made during that time. And so now, you know, we talk about this shame and guilt and, and being able to consciously move on. So I feel like I've really been able to put aside the guilt of this and work through it. Okay. No, 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 no. Say you can set, talk to the self of you that drank high self that used alcohol. Can you talk to me? And then you make friends, you know, you make friends with her and then you get, help her get rid of the shame guilt. You can't, you can't think it away. You can't say, I, I don't think any more shame guilt in my life. Well, you can't do that because it's it's sticky glue. It sticks to you. You have to literally go and find it and go, I see it. And we take it away. Shame guilt dissolves in detection. So once it, detect, it is detected, the jig is up. Yeah. I feel like once you shine light on it, once you shed some light on it, there's nothing there to hide anymore, kind of. Exactly. But you got to find it and you'll find it in the part of you that had it. That's all. I mean, it's, it's not, it's self-help. Yeah. I'm teaching people to do self-help. Self-healing, self-help. Yeah. Self-healing, self-healing. We all do. We're made to self-heal. My goodness. We, we, we conquered AIDS. We conquered, you know, Lyme disease. We conquered we're cancer. Cancer. I mean, we're just um, adaptive humans. We're brilliant. It's just that shame guilt taught us that we're not any good. And we're like, that's that. And don't you touch my emotions. I'm talking to my emotions. So it's, and my video can help you to see that. Awesome. We're going to have to make sure that we link everything in show notes. Where are people able to find you at online if they want to follow you and they want to come and find your website? Okay, it's Lois Hollis, L-O-I-S-H-O-L-L-I-S dot com. And I also have a Facebook group we're called the Shade Guilt Stoppers. So we're all like, okay, we can do this. We all need support in this. I mean, this is huge. Like, this is huge. We need each other for this. And we're the ground bakers. 
Absolutely. Because already when I was speaking to you, you um, already were able to offer insight into no, look at the language that you're using, separate the shame guilt from the identity of like my to it's just its own energy. It's not me. It's external and it doesn't belong to us. It serves no positive um, benefit. Now they say, oh, you need shame and guilt to be moral. No, I do things because it's the right thing to do, not because I feel guilty. Don't devaluate me. Don't be the wizard in Wizard of Oz. You know, you're just a punky old flunky guy with. Also try to say it's such, you know, people say, oh, it's a shame. It's raining today. I can't have my barbecue. No, it's sad. It's unfortunate, but it's not a shame. We can't use that in our vocabulary because it's. It's not of us. It's the the. <laughs> does that does that does that describe it? <laughs> I get what you're saying. It comes back to the idea that our our vocabulary, like our words, are so powerful. Oh, you know, like you said, we can be identifying with it without even realizing it. Of course, we've been taught that way, and our inner critic is our friend. Only that's a whole nother story. <laughs> yeah. So, so incredible. So many things to think about. Um, and, and such an important topic. Like you said, this, it, it's everything. It's everything. It's everything. I mean, you go down the list and look at people's um, uh, emotions and you look at people trying to get ahead, to change your mindset, you know, be successful. Don't let people aggravate you. No matter what it is, it's always got the root in shame, guilt. So why would you not get rid of shame, guilt, and just automatically be successful and happy and give joy to people? That's where I am. I love that. Yeah, I'm like, that sounds so much better than than the way most of us are operating. No, we are taught that way. And I, I get people that say, oh, Lois, can you please help me? I'm really one of your worst cases. I said, why do you say that? Well, I just spent $6,000 on course for success, and I'm still guilty. And so I must be so bad that nothing can help me. And I said, you didn't get rid of the shame that's causing the guilt. And I'll tell you, you'll, you can spend a hundred thousand dollars on a course. And if you don't get rid of the shame, you're always going to feel guilty. And they go, Oh, you're not going to move forward. So what are some of the things that you've seen as you've seen some of your clients working through this? um, What are some of the changes that they've been able to bring into their life by getting, by removing this shame, guilt energy? I'm so happy you said the shame, guilt energy. You're a quick learner, Krista. You're good. Yeah, yeah, Jane. You're a shame, guilt stopper. Um, within a one hour or two, I tell you, the greatest joys of my life is seeing people just be so happy and their face lights up and they cry. They go, I'm really a good person. It, it's like, it, especially someone, you know, like 50, 60, that's been through so much of the down, so much, so much. And, you know, drug use, alcohol, I mean, whatever, it just put, pushes, if you didn't do anything, it still pushes you down. And to just take that burden off, and they know they're in control of taking it off. It, it just magically transforms everybody, 100% of the people. It, it's just phenomenal. I, I just feel so blessed every day to help somebody that quickly. It is, it's, I, I it, it surprises me all the time. I'm going, wow, that was really huge. They go, well, didn't you expect it? I go, I know, but it's just so beautiful to see somebody light up after years and years and years of depression. And they just have to get rid of the shame, guilt, blob that's causing it. We don't manage depression. We get rid of it. So Lois, you work with people. Do you work with people one-on-one or do you have programs? What kind of things, what kind of offering do you have? The best thing to do is start with my um, 500 questions, one answer. And people um, can sign up for a session. I do individual sessions and usually they need like two or three sessions and they're fine. Or sometimes one, you know, people are smart. They're they're not stupid. They're just really smart. They just didn't get the information. So I do individual counseling and I have the group of the shame stoppers and they can also call me um, for a couple minutes just to discuss. I, you know, this is also new. I don't understand it. They can call me and we can talk. So I have many ways that we can fix this. 
And I have a zillion million testimonies if anybody wants to look at them. But watch my DVD, Out of Discord into Harmony. It will really um, help you to understand how deeply entrenched we all are in shame, guilt, and how we can get rid of it. And it works. It, we, can, we can get rid of it. Okay, are we going to do this in two hours? No, but we're going to do it. It can be done. There is a way out of this shame, guilt, prison that everybody told us we had to be in. And my thing is, you might as well start now. Oh, it's better to be working toward releasing yourself from the prison than to never start. Oh, you're so smart, Christy. I will make sure that we have everything linked up into show notes because I think it'll be really important that you can scroll right down and be able to watch um, these videos and um, be able to uh, connect in the Facebook group and be able to connect with Lois. So um, I just have to say, as we kind of close out, Lois, do you have um, just kind of any final words for us as we're closing out? Shame and guilt are not ours to own or to give. So Lois, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Um, I just have to thank you giving your time again today to be here. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Christy, for the opportunity. It was fun. Thank you for listening to the Self Project Podcast. Make sure that you scroll down and you check out the show notes so you can connect with our awesome guests from today. And also come over and follow me on Instagram at underscore Christy Martin to see more of what I've got going on. Make sure that you subscribe to the show so that you can get regular updates and I will see you next time.